Dhammasya. Namo tassa bhagavatu arehatu samma sambuddhatta. Homage to the supremely enlightened Lord Buddha. Akang keyum ve bikkave ubo jani patayo bitte dhammi. Anya manyang pasitum abisamparayanche anya manyang pasitum uboche asu samasadda samasila samachaga samapanya te bitte cheva dhammi Anya manyang pasanti abisamperayang ce anya manyang pasanti ti. Dear friends in the Dhamma, today our Dhamma talk is about uh, a very popular, very special. Uh, very profound, highly meaningful discourse delivered by the Buddha called Samajivi Sutta, uh, translate as living in tune. How we can uh, attune, how we can equilibrium our life in relationships. It explains the factors that lead to life tuning. Life is a song. We need to really enjoy that song. Buddha was one day passing by, a person was playing a violin. Buddha said that if the strings of that violin is too loose, that will not make the right sound. If the string is too tight, still it will make not make the proper sound, it will break. But if the string, strings are in the right, in the middle, in the correct strength, that will make the perfect sound. Likewise, we need great discipline in our life to make the life a success. Particularly when we are living alone, it is easy. But as we are social beings, we can't live alone. The loneliness is the biggest problem in the world. Therefore, we, are to, we have to live in institutions. We call these uh, societies, families. Family here means a cluster or some sort of group because we are social beings, not only human beings. Everybody likes to be in an institution, in a group, what we call family. Family is a unit. Is not uh, individual. When we started to mix with others, living in relationships, we need wisdom, patience, understanding, mutual understanding, because everybody is not the same. We all are different. Therefore, this particular discourse giving great factors, really valuable factors, if we are really wise enough to adopt into our life and make a real difference into our social life. When we think of social life, the most important unit is family. Family comes from when two people come together as a couple. 
this particular discourse explain how someone really make the couple their relationship between each other a successful as we all know uh, which is the hardest thing which is the most uh, serious difficult thing to when we think of the highest cases is divorces and uh, other problems like so much of crime and things taking place because it is not easy to be with someone to live with someone there is because of that uh, living uh, together or somewhat uh, single parent society which is not the ideal example for the humanity or a more peaceful society therefore to have a family life is a sacred thing is really auspicious thing is a blessing that doesn't come out of the blue because it is the hardest thing to keep such a unity to make it sacred make it really blessed we need real blessings and teachings therefore this uh, particular discourse is extremely useful discourse for all of us to learn wealth of knowledge wealth of skill wealth of guidance for to have a really a well maintained well nourished a very prosperous relationship because it's very important in our life to come to a relationship without that there will be no regeneration reproduction which is evolution the planet and the society comes from this sacred relationship it doesn't really help with the single parenting you know that if it is difficult better living alone even with the same but no discrimination but it is very special sacred to have the right relationship so therefore <clears throat> we don't have to explain how important for us to make the right effort and every effort to get the best relationship that is why uh, lord buddha delivered this particular discourse this called samajeeva living in tune or factors that leading to life tuning when two people come always noises always arguments always disappointment always heartbreaking but it also would the said can certainly make a positive outcome it's not all about negative we only highlight about the negative things but it is extremely possible to um, have that tuning nature attuning nature really equilibrium nature harmonious nature in the relationship that is what makes the life beautiful makes the life really uh, aesthetic make the life really liberated so this particular discourse comes in different uh, names in the sutta pitaka sutta pitaka this samajeevi sutta is in the anguttara nikaya chatukka nipata punyadi sandha vagga uh, it also uh, title as nakula pitu sutta dutiya samajeevi sutta patana samajeevi sutta and also samajeeva sutta so it, it uh, outline title in different names but the content is the same what it says once the buddha was staying it uh, bagas the deer park at uh, besakkala grove uh, near crocodile horn in the early morning the blessed one take his uh, robes and the bowls and outer robe and went from home to 
a householder called Nakula's father. So that householder's name is called Nakula's father. During the time of the Buddha, the parents were known as children's name. Children were known as parents' name. Like Sariputta. Venerable Sariputta is the Sari is the mother's name. The Putta is the son. Son of the Brahmin Sari called Sariputta. Moggalana, Moggali Putta. Moggali Putta is the mother is the Moggali. Putta is the son. Likewise, the children were known as mothers or fathers' name. And fathers were introduced as children's name. So this particular a person called Nakula, his the father was Nakula, father, Nakula's father, and mother was Nakula's mother. So Buddha went to this household and uh, for the dana, they have well prepared special seats ready for the Buddha. Buddha sat there and then uh, Nakula, father, Nakula's father and the Nakula's mother went to the Blessed One and uh, bowed down, sat one side and then uh, Nakula's father said, uh, Lord, we got married at the age of 16, very young age. Ever since Nakula's mother, Nakula's mother, which was wife-to-be, as a young girl, was brought to me as uh, my wife. When I was just uh, very young, I am not conscious of being unfaithful to her even in mind, much less in body. He wanted to see, we wanted to see one another, not only in the present life, but also in the life to come. That means we like to be like this, not only this life, even in the next future lives, we like to be like this. So this uh, explains when you really match. By this time, Nakula's father and Nakula's mother was over 80 years old, very old. So therefore, they were really old, so they spend a long time in relationship. It is a great example for families who are having relationships. They have lived a very important family life. We can see recently uh, even the queen and the king of this country uh, lived uh, over 70 years mm -hmm. of their family life. What? Family life. So therefore, <clears throat> uh, this uh, Nakula's father uh, said to the Buddha, Lord, uh, ever since Nakula's mother, as a young girl who was about 16, by those days, the the they got married in very young age and uh, even conscious of being unfaithful is a great uh, reflection for all of us to learn something how we can eventually build up a good relationship and therefore by when they say that uh, the Nakula's father said uh, to the Buddha, Anyamanyam Pasitum, we like to see each other in this life and even next life or even many lifetimes. So many relationships, you know, that are struggling, they don't want to even see each other for uh, many life or even few years or even few days. But this great couple called Nakula's father and Nakula's mother says to each other, we would like to see Anyamanyam Pasitum. Pasitum means to see each other. Abhisamparayanche. 
in this very life and amnya manyam pastitunti even the life after. Then uh, Nakula's mother, Nakula's father said like that, Nakula's mother also has the great pride about her husband and said, Lord, ever since as a young girl was brought to Nakula's father to be his wife, when he was just a young boy, I was not conscious of being unfaithful to him even in mind. What a great um, morality, great uh, discipline. Much less in the body, we want to see one another, not only in the present life, but also in the life to come. So that was a great uh, reflection done by both of them, not only one of them. Sometimes some people say to other people like that, but in their consciousness they were saying, not honestly saying that, but here they have spent the 70 years in their life. They got married at the age of 16. So they were very elderly. So this uh, Nakula Mata and Nakula Pita being uh, given a very great example to maintain a good relationship in the Buddhist teachings. When the Buddha heard this, Buddha said very interesting thing. If you both, husband and wife, want to see one another, not only in the present life, but also in the life to come, then Buddha said, you need some other qualities. What are those qualities? They should be in tune, with, with, mean, with each other in tune, in conviction, sadda, in tune with virtue, sila, in tune with generosity, in tune with discernment, panya. Uh, this is not a simple uh, message, especially nobody can live with each other because we all are different characters. But the family relationship is what makes the world go. Therefore, it's a sacred unit. And what makes it sacred, not only to the present life, even many lifetimes to come, is Buddha said that they need to uphold four things in tune. It's not just uh, proportionally, that has to be in proportionally in tune, balanced, equanimous in each other. If someone, whether husband or wife, is higher in those qualities and the other person is less, it doesn't work. So they get to mutually balance it to have the ideal, the uh, best uh, life, you know, the happiness we all deserve. That is why we come as husband and wife or into relationship to become a great example, to be there for each other, which is very important thing. So the Buddha said, if you are aspiring, wishing to be in this present life and uh, even life after, you've got to be in tune with each other in conviction, which is sadda, in tune with virtue, which is seal, mutual conviction, mutual virtue, mutual generosity, mutual discernment, samasamapanya. It otherwise it doesn't happen, it doesn't work. And then this Nakula, Nakula's father and Nakula's mother said, as husband and wife, we had this great life. We were mutual in conviction, being responsive to each other, being restrained, living by the Dhamma, addressing with each other loving words. Ubo sadda vadanyu cha sanya cha dhamma jivino te honti jani patayo anya manya piyam vada. Piyam vada means they were always exchanging loving words. You know, words are powerful than the souls. Words can hurt, kill, destroy people. Therefore, the words we use are very special, particularly in the relationships that comes under restraining, morality, discipline, sealer. So therefore, they were saying 
both of them having a great conviction. That means trust. If the people to each other does not have the trust, which is a very dangerous thing, that is uh, called kind of a doubt or not believing each other is the problem for psychologically uh, not to have a peaceful relationship. Being responsive is not like rejecting or withdrawing each other. Being restrained, that means to have a relationship is the is, is much harder than even having a spiritual life. You, you, you need to be devoted to a one person to maintain that. You know, while you are looking at millions of similar people, while you are living in the midst of millions of similar other genders, you've got to be maintaining a sealer. You have to observe in a sealer for devoted to one person. That's very difficult thing. That is what makes the life peaceful and successful. It's a great message. It's a powerful discourse delivered by the Buddha. And then it explained further by them to Atta Sampa Urahonti Pasukan Upa Jayati Amitta Dungi Nahonti Ubinnam Samasilanam. It says, while we are having like this blissful life, when we are having a mutual conviction, mutual virtue, mutual generosity, mutual wisdom, it encountered the count lot of blessings. And the another thing it says, we did not have any harm from enemies. You know that the life is in danger, that's why we take a lot of security, protection. Uh, there are a lot of enemies, visible, invisible, can come and mess the life up. So therefore, because of those values upholded by them, they say, Sampaura Honti. That means they were protected by any harm or any enemies. Enemies are dejected when both are in tune in virtue. Amitta, it says, they become uh, very safe in their life. And then again, he says, Ita Dhammang Charitwana Samasila Bhata Ubho. Having followed the Dhamma here in this world, both in tune in precepts and practices, the sila is the great practice, they delighted in the world of Devas. Even the Devas paid uh, homage, support, Respected for those people who are mutual in virtue, mutual in conviction, samasaddha, mutual in generosity, and they enjoy the pleasures they desire. In when somebody meet, come together, you have such a great desires, great pleasures to have a wonderful example life. But it does not come out of the blue. You have to work on that. No ideal person in the world. But you can make it up. Even though you go to find the ideal partner, you will never find that. But from the day one, the one you chosen, one you being selected, you have to cultivate mutually those qualities. Then the devas will bless you and you will have the pleasures that you desire in your life. So that was the wonderful discourse called Sama Jiva Sutta, Life in Tune. Delivered by the Buddha in the Anguttara Nikaya Chatuktaka Nipata. Today we talk about uh, the secret qualities that uh, we can maintain a good relationship, good uh, family life, which is a very important thing. Because that whole world come into effect, come into being because of this situation. <clears throat> Therefore, uh, Buddha in the Anguttara Nikaya Adhanya Sutta says that the man always attracts to the woman, woman always attracts to the man. That is the highest attraction. Uh, that is the kind of an initial beginning of the evolution, reproduction, generation. Therefore, Buddha says in the Adhanya Sutta, that got to be maintained with this mutual understanding 
otherwise what they produce is not just a biological mistake it is out of love and they were the people in the future generation if the future generation been broken emotionally psychologically because of the elders behavior it is not an ideal society peaceful society so those who are coming into relationship need to be uh, bear that in mind and make work it out it is not just to escape and walk away from it that is what this great example of the nakula mata and nakula pita for 70 years they says it was not easy but we are really happy we accomplished it it, it is not like it's a sexual relationship of course it is a part of regeneration reproduction but it is holistic it is really spiritual relationship what we call mother and father even buddha was explaining here nakula's father sometimes people say you can't really say to the partner from the name of father but they were saying even the buddha was approving it say with great uh, spirituality honor so that it protects their relationship does not lead into other problems nakula's father how could you feel when you say that so the buddha uh, at the time of the buddha many parents has uh, seek the guidance of the buddha to advise their children one of the important discourse in the anguttara nikaya panchaka nipata uggaha sutta uggaha sutta uh, one of the rich men we call situarya situarya is the kind of an merchant uh, kind of an person who is a very wealthy person in the uh, country uh, when he was given his daughter in hand took to the buddha and asked the buddha to give some advice for her daughter how to make it work how to make it successful that explain in the uggha sutta in the anguttara nikaya panchaka nipata then the buddha says daughter you need to really train how to keep the family unity how to bring each other you need to bring the love affection to each other sometimes you may not find it but you can make it up and then when you are giving in hand to someone always have the kindness compassion never been aggressive never been harmful to other person and it says <laughs> you need to go to your bed later after everyone checking all the things in the household and you need to wake up early if you are not waking up early and that would not be a place of nice peer place if you are waking up about 9 10 11 the whole day has already gone because the dawn the morning is the best time to bring the blessing for your relationship and then it says even you need to associate that means intimacy have the relationship with real pleasure so kamatte sevane then and says that uh, always uh, speak with gentle nice words because there is no other person that can benefit and have share your life you got to be really um, exchange your psychological uh, sociological a biological uh, relationship with that it says in the uddha sutta in the anguttara nikaya and it says how to manage the finance in the family and not to make any disturbances in the uh, unity of the family and to be respect each other protect their wealth and not to associate or let other people like alcohol or some sort of immoral people Uh, some sort of criminals or being really conscious wise whom you are being really associated with explained by the buddha with the instructions given by a father called ugga to his own daughter another uh, very important uh, information comes called uh, uh, or advice to the visakas daughter visaka when she was uh, that is the daughter of the situ migara situ 
when she was given in hand, uh, the father said ten things. When the father say at that time something or mother say at that time something, it remember you very well. It makes you something very special. So the father said uh, to the daughter Visaka, don't give fire inside, fire outside. Don't give inside fire outside. You know that inside there are a lot of problems. You don't have to tell, share those things to other people. Don't bring outside fire to the inside. The second advice uh, the father said, don't bring the trouble of the outside to the inside. Then, then, then the third advice, if someone is look, giving you something, you got to return, you got to share with them. You should not share with people who are not really generous and kind. And then the fifth one says, you got to do unconditionally, give unconditionally. Sometimes there are occasions, those who are giving and those who are not giving. But you need to practice generosity. And the sixth one, father said, sleep soundly. Eat with mindfully, you know. When you are having meal, because food is very important. If you are in hunger, sometimes I know some families, other people eat, they don't care about other family members. You know that uh, that's not the way. You need to look into other people, whether they are having the same thing. So you need to enjoy mindfully. And then, Gini Piri Masinya. You need to really economically live in, you know, particularly sometimes, not always. Girls, ladies can be expensive, you know. I know we know that. That uh, when, like if during the Christmas time, higher sin was in this country because they are expensive. They, you know, there are a lot of troubles comes after Christmas because of that. And guinea pig masi. Then last one he says atulata devian kudan. That means you have to practice at least five ten minutes the spiritual thing. Take five precepts. Pay homage to Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha. At least few minutes every day. Those were the 10 advices given by the father called Nigata Situ to his daughter when he was given, when she was given in hand in marriage. And another very important discourse delivered by the Buddha in Sangyukta Nikaya called Khattiya Sutta. The discourse about kings. One Devata comes to the Buddha and says, Katyo Dipadam Setto Bali Vaddo Satupadam Komari Setta Bariyana Yocha Puttana Ubba Jyoti. It says, uh, those with two feet, kings are the superior. The Devata, uh, divine being, say to the Buddha. Those with four feet, oxen are the superior. A maiden, maiden means young girl, is the best wife. When you want to get a wife, that was the Brahmanic society by that time, get a young person. The firstborn is the best children. Uh, the firstborn is the best child. Buddha says in return, those with two feet, Lord Buddha is the superior. Those with four feet, the most powerful horse is the superior. And the important thing here is a good listener, good listener is the best wife. Susuta Setta Bariana. If you want to be the best uh, barrier, you can use that a husband or a wife, spouse. You got to be a listening person. Even in the psychiatry, the main three pillars of psychiatry listening. Trust, trust is faith, sadda, kya, which is compassion. Those are the three things. Listening, trust, and kya. So, sutta, setta, bariyana. A good listener is the best wife. You know, in fact, wives are the most spoken people. How many words a lady speak in a day? You know that, you know. Male person, how many words a male person talk? Only 7,000 words. Whereas female person talks about 25,000. Just imagine a man listening to 25,000 words a day. So therefore, if you are a good listener, then you can 
really be a good wife. That will be the holy, holistic relationship. Obedient children are the best of the children, not the eldest children. Deota said the eldest, the firstborn is the best child. Buddha says, no, no. Obedient children are the best of the children. So that goes in the Tattya Sutta. Wonderful messages for us to uh, learn something and benefit from the relationship. Another discourse called Matugama Sutta. Matugama Sutta, Buddha says that with five traits, five characteristics, a person always should make the decision to choose your partner. <clears throat> Very interesting. So this says in the Sanyutta Nikaya, Matugama Sutta, you need to look into five things when you are choosing a partner. What are the five things? Should be beautiful. Beauty is the whole size. Beauty is not what you are looking externally. Beauty is when you are doing nice things, good things. You know, your actions are beautiful. You are a beautiful person. Then the second thing is, it should be rich. First one, it should be beautiful. Beautiful is not like you are, you are having a, like plastic surgery body. Uh, it is to be action beautiful. The second one is, it should be wealth. Wealth means you need to have real qualities. It's not really only money. Of course, it is money here. And the next one, it should be moral, silver. The fourth one, when you are choosing the right partner, should not be a lazy uh, person. Mm -hmm. And the last one, fifth one, it says in the Matugama Sutta, the person should be able to bring a family, like children. Dava Prajava. If the person can't bring up a children or child, that's not a good relationship. Krumat, Danavat, Silvat, Analas, uh, Dava Prajava Labani. Those are called in the Matugama Sutta five things you need to look into when you choose the right partner. And then uh, Vattu Sutta, another important thing Buddha says that uh, another Deva, Hinsu Vattu Manusana, Hinsu the Paramo Sakha, Hinsu Bhupati Jivanti, Yopana Pati Vinsati. Uh, Devata comes and uh, asks. Uh, what is the protection for anyone? Who is the best uh, friend? And uh, uh, who are the spirit that sustain the earth and bring the rain? That was the question asked by the uh, Devata, that means divine being. In what, what place? Vattu Sutta in the Sangyutta Nikaya. Buddha answers wonderfully, Putta Vattu Manusana. For the humans, the assets, the wealth is the children. You know that. You know how important your children. Putta Vattu Manusana. Bariyava Paramo Sakha. It says, the wife is the best friend. Mata Mitta Sake Gare, Buddha said. Mother is the best friend. If you make the mother as the best friend, you will never be let down. You will never have any problem. You will never uh, get some downfall in your life. Bariyate Paramosuko. This goes to the husband as well. You need to think your wife is the best friend. If you bring other friends as best friend, not talking to your wife, you will not survive your relationship. Then Buddha said, the rain, that uh, water, is the most important thing for the survival of the world. In another very popular discourse called Sigalo Vada Sutra, given a great uh, wealth of um, um, knowledge for the having a good relationship, it says that uh, for five things, you should honor the wife, Sammananai. You should always honor the wife. And Anavamanaya, uh, 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 that means you should not humiliate. So Buddha did not work, work, 
where's the words? Buddha said two things into five out of five. Buddha says you need to honor. In the meantime, you should not kind of uh, humiliate. Anava mana naya nigrano karaiti. And the third one, anati charyaya, that means you should not uh, exceed your wife. You should not go into other people. And uh, another important thing, isariya was sabgena, that means you should give the management to the wife in the household. So you should make the wife as the boss to manage your uh, household situation. Isariya was sabgena, gedara parane denmane. Alankar, Buddha is very democratic, very smart teacher. He says that uh, Alankar Anupadena, you need to buy ornaments, gold, like diamond and things, then you will make your relationship very wonderful and successful. Time to time, you know, maybe a birthday or something. Women, Buddha know the psychology of women very well. Buddha said, you need to buy something uh, nice, maybe a, not a small thing like even Gold, Buddha said, uh, need to buy something worthwhile to appreciate the person. It's not only just verbally or by feeling honor, you need to really work it out, put yourself into the practice, buying something. And then from the wives, what do they do? Need to practice for the uh, husband. Susangita uh, Kammanta. Uh, when the husband comes after work, because those days actually men were working, so men were looking after the household life, and they has to uh, keep those uh, activities uh, in order, and to make his life easy, let him to relax, and uh, uh, husband's family, the wife need to maintain the relationship to look after them, and should not. Um, go beyond the husband uh, anati charani uh, the last one uh, she should be a protector of the wealth those were the uh, important things explained in the Singhalovada Sutta out of uh, 61 duties for a safe and well society uh, 10 5 from the husband to wife and 5 from wife, wife to husband explaining the Sigalo Vada Sutta. There is another special discourse called Anuruddha Manapa Kaika Sutta. Anuruddha Manapa Kaika Sutta. It says um, a lady, wife should be Vikata Mala Machara Chetasa. The wife should be very generous, should not be a stingy person. Agaram Ajjavasati Mutta Chaga. She should be always in washed hand to give things. Payata pani te do it. She wash wash the hands all the time, which means you are ready to practice the generosity. Wasanga rata. She should be enjoying giving. If the wife in the family is a giving, love, affection, taking care of one of the person came and he said he's going to file a divorce because. He hasn't bought a t-shirt for 30 years in relation. The wife hasn't. Wife has bought a lot of things for her, um, but not for the husband. So he was saying, I am wearing the same thing all the time. It only it goes to the other person as well. Husband also in time to time buy something. That is called payata uh, pani. That means you should always ready to buy something. Yava, yava Yoga, the wife should be taking care of supporting the temple, uh, needy, homeless, spiritual, and things like that. So the it is the duty of the wife to maintain that, like our mothers, we know that in our families, they always uh, checking with uh, whether the dana is being brought to the temple, whether they have given their support for the local spiritual churches so wherever and things like that it explained in the Anuruddha Manapakaika Sutta and another important Sutta called in the Anguttha Nikaya called Asantutti Sutta Asantutti Sutta means a person to maintain the ideal relationship you need to be content if you are not content 
That means Santukti Paramandana. You need to be Ladadin Satutu in a connect in Mona. Ladadin Satutu in a connect means you are happy with what you have. If you are worried about things you don't have, that is a downfall. That is a very serious thing. If you are not happy with what you what you don't have, you got to learn, count the blessing. Most of the English people say, sometimes people mourning, they don't have this, don't have that. One of the elderly English gentlemen said to me, his mother was always saying, when they don't have the heating, when they don't have the fridge, when they don't have all these vehicles, the mother who used to say to him, son, count the blessings. You can only see what you don't have. Can't you see the things we all have? So that is what we call contentment. Is what explained in the Asantutti Sutta. Sometimes, you know, sometimes women can kind of chat like that. Oh, I don't have this, I don't. My neighbors, you know, neighbors grass is always greener. My, uh, you know, sometimes wife says that, oh, my neighbor is uh, buying a new car. They are going for a holiday. My husband is rubbish. I am still in the same house. I haven't been to. So that type of things can come because this asantutti, that you are not content in what you have. If that is the situation, you will not have an ideal relationship. And uh, finally, uh, there are a lot of things, but I am just explaining about very um, <clears throat> short things. And uh, Buddha talked about uh, different types of uh, wives. Vadaka Bariya, Chora Bariya, Sami Bariya, Matu Bariya, Bhagini Bariya, Sati Bariya. In the Bariya Sutta, in the Anguttara Nikaya, there are seven types of wives. First one is called Vadaka Bariya. That means giving all the time pain and problem. That's called Vadaka Bariya. Chora Bariya. Chora Bariya means the wife who steals the things of the husband. Sami Bariya. Sami Bariya means very faithful, very devoutful wife. You can choose who you are. Matu Bariya. Ma, that means wife like a mother. And the Bagini Bariya, wife like a really a sister or a brother. Saki Bariya. That means uh, like the best friend. Dasi Bariya, uh, wife like a servant. So if you know according to those seven types of wives in the Sapta Bariya Sutta in Angutta Nikaya, where you can put your place. Uh, these are the bit of an insight about uh, today's Dhamma topic, uh, which explains Samajivi Dhamma. Samajivi Dhamma means life in tuning. There are four things explaining that Sama Sadda having compatible faith. Or not only one person or uh, in proportion, it has to be compatible. Same in the both person. Uphold the same religion. Revere the same objects when you are choosing a partner. This is a very wonderful thing because otherwise it's really difficult. Objects of worship, worship concept, beliefs, principle. They are the same line of interest. They are equally firm in those. Can reach agreement on them. Otherwise, don't just look in the external or emotional part. Oh, you, you like that person. You After that, you think, oh, this is a mistake. Just take time to really monitor whether they have this compatible faith. And the compatible morality. What does it mean? Do they have the real ethics, manners? upbringing which are harmonious and compatible. That means, are they really practicing five precepts? And the third one, Samachaga, compatible generosity. That is why Buddha even Singhalova the Sutta says it's not only sing one way traffic, it's a dual character. Uh, you need to give to the husband, husband need to give to the wife. In accord, not in conflict with each other in generosity, hospitality, uh, sacrifice, readiness to help others, that's called samachaga. Samapanya, that means having compatible intelligence. If one person is too intelligent, you have to just listen to that person dominating. Uh, it's not worthy. And uh, sensible and understanding each other, at least reason with each other is very important thing in the relationship. Uh, Buddha gives an example of a font. Just imagine there are four inlets and four outlets. 
if the inlets send the water and the outlet is being not closed, you will not have a successful lake. So therefore, uh, to have a relationship, you need to maintain your life in proportion, uh, like in mutually, in tuning. That is what explained in this Dhamma talk today. The subject of our Dhamma title today is Samajivi Sutta, the factors that lead to life in tuning. So we wish you all the good health and happiness. Thank you very much for listening to the Dhamma talk today. Today, Dhamma talk is being very kindly uh, sponsored to make this teaching available. Let these teachings to hear by the other people is the highest form of dana. Uh, today, Dhamma dana is being sponsored by Mr. Nilanka Rankodgedar, Mrs. Ivanti Rankodgedar, to celebrate their 20th wedding anniversary and also to celebrate the uh, new son, Kevin, four months old, and also share the blessing to the other two children, Chanel, daughter Chanel, son Kalu, and to wish their parents and all their relatives all the good health and happiness. And may this Dhamma Dana blessing bring the good health and happiness and the fulfillment of their aspiration. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. And uh, finally, if you would like to support, we still have a few weeks uh, needing for the sponsors to Gasana Kala to maintain this. You can share the Dhammadana blessings. To finish our day for today, let us practice few minutes meditation. Please sit comfortable to practice few minutes meditation. in the body. Keeping it alert and awake. Just experience in the city. And make yourself content. Be happy. Rather worrying about things you don't know. Cultivate always equal morality values. Equal faith, Sadda. Equal generosity, Sadda. Equal Panya. Wisdom. They are in those deeply in your heart. You will have a wonderful family life. That is should be a blessing. Otherwise, you are living in a hell. To create the heaven in your relationship, you got to bring these qualities into your heart and put them into practice. Breathe slowly in. Breathe slowly. Just imagine this death is too short. Life is too short. To suffer in the hell is not worth. Faith, morality, generosity and wisdom will make your shortest life a heaven. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Take this seriously, those points we mentioned. Uh, such a wealth of information from the teachings of the Buddha. Today we are very lucky to adopt those into our life. With that, make metta to yourself. May I be well. May I be happy. May I be 
As I am, may all beings be well. May all beings be happy. May all beings live in harmony, in divinity, and may all attain the bliss liberation. Bringing our palms jointly together, close to our heart, let us share the final blessings. Say three times. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining today, and I look forward to see you next week.